in Boise Marsh, Amanda has darted the young elephant injured by the snare. But as the tranquilizer begins to take effect, there's no sign of the ground crew. I can still see him. All right, I've got him. He's at the back of the pack there. It's been three minutes and he's showing signs here. He's going to be down in five, not four. Yeah, we're going to need to get to him quickly because I might have, when I'm judging him now from the other side, I might have given him a bit much. Okay. Darting in the wild is always tricky. The calf might be younger than they thought, and giving too much anesthetic can be dangerous. It's down again. It's truck clear. Yeah, his truck's clear. He's on his left side. We need to get to him. We okay, need to get cool. to him when yeah, you yeah, get yeah, to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, we will. Sorry, sorry. Just stand by, stand yeah, by. Yeah. I'm just going to push this female back. The ground crew still hasn't arrived, so pilot Brad is moving the other elephants to a safe distance before dropping Amanda near the now unconscious calf. You should be able to pass that money patch. It's a risky maneuver. All right, guys, start thinking about debussing. Um, yeah. It might be an aerial debuss. Yeah. All right, let me know when you're happy with this distance. I'm happy with the distance. Yeah. Uh, we might be able to touch down here, actually. Andy, I'm going to need your eyes on the tail road to make sure no yeah. bushes, trees. OK. Good on the side. Alright, Mandy, just, just let, me, let me know about that tower right there, Mandy. You can keep your eyes behind us as well. Yeah, just make yeah. sure we're good. Okay. We're okay. Okay, I'm gone. This okay, is stand by, stand by, stand by, stand by. Alright, we're down. Okay. There's no time to lose. Amanda needs to make sure the young elephant hasn't had a bad reaction to the drugs. Meanwhile, Brad has to keep the rest of the herd at bay. Elephants are protective of their young and won't leave the calf behind. Amanda's plan is to remove the snare, treat the injury, reverse the drugs, and leave with the ground team as quickly as possible. He seems to be doing okay, hey? Yeah. Yeah, surprised. Boy, that's gnarly. It's in here, you can see it. <laughs> Craig, you can. I gave him, I, I thought he was bigger when I first saw him, and I gave him five, and that's a bit much, but he seems to be breathing okay, so we're just gonna get done and get him out. Yeah. These loop snares are designed to trap smaller animals around the neck, but elephants get their legs caught in them and can die through infection. What we've done is we've taken the snare off, we've given him some antibiotics. We're going to give him some, uh, we're going to just put an antibiotic wound, uh, an antibiotic wound spray on. What? What's wrong? Oh. God. So we're going to put some wound spray on here. We're going to, and then we're going to wake him up. Craig, are you happy to drive out of here once I reverse him? What? What? No. We're, we're all going together. Brad is holding the rest of the herd at a safe distance. He'll allow them to return to the injured calf once Amanda has reversed the anesthetic. She's got such baby veins. Gosh, I went straight through it. This injection will wake the calf up in minutes. All right, if everyone can get on the truck, we're done. Let's go. The team has to move quickly. Amanda wants to be as far away as possible before the herd returns. Good news from Brad. The calf is up and reunited with the herd, which is now starting to move in the opposite direction. 